So, good evening. I made us a little setup here with the dial and the uh, airflow metering unit, which this is called. And instead of the uh, uh, fuel distributor, I put our dial on here. And now I'm going to try to show you this on how this works. I have the dial preloaded to one millimeter. And when we're looking at this here, when we're starting to idle, the idle depresses the vacuum, pulls down the plate about that far. Let me just see if we get some more light on here, then you can see it. You can see a very faint crack. Let me zoom in. This. Now it lets the zoom. Yeah, now we got it. You see, when the vacuum pulls it down, this is about when that opens up, this is about where your plate is going to be roughly in this area here for idle speed. This is closed off position, and this is where the fuel needs to start to flow right here when it cracks. And then you go, it's about here. This would be already very high idle. So this is a very small crack here. See, this is all the way open, but the idle speed happens in a very, very small range here. And when we're looking at our dial indicator, let me zoom back out. Let it zoom back in. I hope we can get both of them on here. Let me see if we can see this. Oops. This thing does all sorts of stuff now. Let me readjust this. What we're measuring here is the actual deflection of the piston. So I have this now preloaded under tension of about one millimeter. It's very difficult to adjust this because it is so fine. Oops. Yeah, right there, that should be good enough. And now you will see this. This is a 0.1 millimeter or 0 0.01 millimeter for the individual dashes. So you will see this. This is now when the uh, plate goes down. This is about where your idle speed is. So the, the, the displacement or the pushing of the fuel distributor. This piston here is going to be pushed in between 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 millimeters. This is how much movement you get. This is how close this is and how small this is. This is about where the fuel flow should start this right here. Oops, I'm sorry. That is kind of tricky about here. 0 0.05 millimeters is where you need to hear the squeal starting. And then you go down to here, this is about 0 0.15. Uh, and this would be already a pretty high idle at 0 0.2. So your idle is going to be right in this range here, 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 millimeters. And uh, you can't even show this on the fuel distributor. But this should give you an idea, 0 point, this is hardly going to move this thing. Uh, I hope this explains this with the squealing video I put up for you to better understand this. So in this position right now where the plate is here, there should be no, no fuel flow. And then when you start pushing it just about here, this is about where you start to have fuel flow. And this is about where your idle is in this range here. And this is 0.1 millimeter to 0.2 millimeter. So the entire action happens in 0.2 millimeters, just that you have an idea. And with that, you have a great evening.